What's up, everybody? It's your boy Melvin for another classic review, and we're back with K and D. This time, from season two of twenty oh three, the episode Operation Ghost. But before we begin, did you subscribe? Did you hit the bell? If so, what are you waiting for? If you have a pet that passed away, be sure it stays dead because the last thing you want to wake up is the ghost of your pet right in front of you and about to take you to pet heaven. For heaven is heaven. For you, welcome to hell. <laughs> but yeah. This is an episode I remember because... Okay, I don't know why they aired this in November, but this should be in like in October because come on, it's kind of perfect. So, Operation Ghost was aired in November fourteenth of twenty o three. This was the seventh episode for the sake of season two of K and D. It was aired on Cartoon Network at the time, and damn, this one was a trip. This was one from beyond the grave, where they tackle of actual ghosts, but more specifically, hamsters. <laughs> Let's begin, shall we? Hold it. Uh, damn. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah. We get a close up, like a funeral for a hamster named Chubbles, I think. Yeah, Chubbles. Was one of the hamsters that powers the, you know, the, the treehouse in Sector V. Yeah. They, they've had a lot of gadgets, but they have to use hamsters to power everything. <whistles> Damn. What? They can't find a source, like, actual power source, not just using hamsters. They actually used guinea pigs at the time. But that's a different story for a different time. Yeah. The, the, the gang, the, the rest of the members have a funeral for him. And number three, who's more heartbroken than she has a better connection with. Of course, then came another problem because meanwhile, one of the hams other hamsters manages to grab one of number four's soda can soda stash, and guess what they do? It's a soda blot. So they they shake the soda and squirts it into number four, and he gets pissed off right there and starts chasing the hamsters. Which number three tells him to stop, but he keeps. I don't blame him for because these ba these little bastards stole his soda and also they're showering it, it with it at him. Like they were go like weapons. And don't worry, this is a running gag right here. Soon after after that, the funeral ends. And then number three says her last goodbyes to Chubbles before it looks like a storm is coming. I can't know that his tombstone is actually a piece of toast with his name on it. Cute. <laughs> so yeah, after that, it gets dark, and all of a sudden, we notice his grave starts to move, like shaking from the ground, and there's a light coming out of the grave. Soon after, we come to the, at night, the thing is a storm out, everybody is sleeping, and uh, number three, trying to sleep until she wakes up by a hear a strange noise. She goes out to investigate. While she's investigating, she got scared until she hurt until she bumps into number four, who's still chasing the hamsters. Literally, they keep grabbing his damn soda and start attacking him with it. Literally, they he's like, "Get back, you damn hamsters!" <laughs> oh my god, those little bastards are dangerous. They can grab your soda and it's, and kill you with it. They're just cover wait. They're just gonna keep going. This is the running gag right here with number four and those hamsters. <laughs> Stealing his soda and spraying it at him. But yeah, continuing. Number three managed to arrive at the, the Colt Power Core, which is where they have their power source until she knows a hamster. A glowing hamster running its wheel because this is where they get their power. The hamsters are their main power source because they run these little, you know, their tread wheels. That's how they power up the treehouse with that. And soon, number three asks, "Why are you doing up?" I know it should be up this late. That's why number three starts and knows one by one. All the treadmills starting to move one by one. A glowing light, boom! There, another, 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 until she realizes 
They're not alive. They're ghosts. That's what she sees. Hamster, ghost hamsters rising from the floorboards, and she starts to freak out, and she screams. Soon after, number one, number two, and number five runs towards her. She's running towards them, and she explains that she sees ghost hamsters. When they arrive at the 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 reactor, <clears throat> there was nothing. And of course, number one might bret her for playing with the you know the reactor. Of course, that's how she usually is, but. No one believed her, and Norfi told her to get some sleep because she's been uneasy lately. So yeah. Soon, Norfi follows her imagination as she goes about to go to bed. Peekaboo! The hands are right behind her, and she screams. Meanwhile, number four, still chasing the damn hamsters, runs outside, but the little bastards lock him out, literally. But he kind of, at first he got pissed until he, he managed to grab one of the sodas and say, Ha! I got the soda! Yeah! Until he opens it, he sprays himself. And it's raining. Soon after number four, season number three, being dragged by the ghost hamsters into the grave, when. Literally, she's been dragged right in the grave. That's when number four sounds the alarm. And guess where we are now? Hamster heaven. And I think there was a quote from number five in number two saying that hamster heaven might have sunflower seeds, motorbikes, everything. Yeah, exactly. This is what hamster heaven is. You can see all the hamsters that died right there in paradise. And finally, number three is reunited with Chubbles, of course. Happy, but fortunately, she can't stay because she has... She has because they're the other hamsters, the ones who are alive. And these ones, oh boy, these hamsters are mad because they don't want her to leave. And here's the guy, yes, she wants to leave and they get pissed. But she wants to say, they're happy. Leave, mad. Stay, happy. That's when, when she decides she's going to leave. That's when everything when is going has turned dark. Everything started to become a wasteland. And slowly, that go, the, the hamsters started to pee... Okay, you remember the scene from Trick or Treat with the you know, the girls that turn into werewolves to peel their skin off and the, they're actually wolves? Yeah, this is what it is. These ghost hamsters just remove their old their skins like they were jackets and boom, they're all ghosts. More demonic actually because they start to be more demonic. That's when she starts to freak out. Meanwhile, the rest of the ride, number one... Two, four, four and five. Arrive at the land of the dead. The land of the ha dead hamsters. Which they can smell the seeds, of course. That's when they hear number three. She's running screaming. That's when number one says, Don't worry, number three. The kids next door are here. That's great. And she keeps running. That's when they see the ghost hamster. They're like, Okay, time to run. And they all screamed. Oh boy. That's when they all run for their lives. They manage to arrive where the hole is, where, okay, the grave is. They manage to try to climb out, but before that, number three is being grabbed. They try to pull her, they pull her out, and guess what pops out? A ghost hamster kaiju. I'm not joking. These hamsters just morph together into a kaiju ghost. A kaiju hamster ghost. Damn. As they are about to attack them, they get sprayed by the other hamsters, the ones who are alive, with soda. That's when... Literally, the, the other hamsters are like... Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just weird. I tell you what. And this is a... This, they keep going. The ghosts have tried about to attack them, and they get sprayed again. They try it again. They get sprayed. Soon after, all the hamsters manage to get this, get more soda and spray at the ghost, the giant ghost hamster. Slowly until he starts to shrink and shrink. As it, as the ghost hamster became a small one, guess what they did? 
They went, they grabbed number four's soda machine, pushed it, and landed on the grave where the ghost hamster is. Bunk. Right there, sealing the portal. Soon after, what? Uh, sorry. Soon after, it's all over. Number four kind of forgives them for what they did. They give him a soda, and guess what happened? No, actually, number four gives him a soda. Instead of drinking it, they squirt it at him. And you know the damn are assholes right there. <laughs> they don't forget. They don't, and number four starts to chase them. Soon, number five and three are talking. Say so yeah, they're all right. Back in hamster heaven. Well, with the machine broken. And guess what they have? A limited supply of soda. Now they're all sobering. And also, shooting soda at each other. And that was, codename, that was Operation Ghost. And this was a fun, weird and funny one because, come on. What, you have ghost hamsters. And you have a bit of a comedy between number four and the other hamsters that stole his soda. So, yeah. I kind of liked it because I remember when I first saw this. And this was... Okay, for me, it was a bit creepy at first. Because, first of all, this is the only time you actually... They fight against the dead. Not like the nerd zombies. They're like, oh, well, how do you steal? That's what happens when you steal from nerds. These are the living, these are the ghosts of dead hamsters, so. And the only thing they got defeated by other living hamsters shooting soda at them, so yeah. That was a good one, actually. But yeah. I'm trying to think out what other episode I try, but hey, we're close to the October season, so. I'm saving the good ones for October, so yeah. I think that'll be it for today, and if you like the video, give it a like, and also if you've seen this episode back in 2003, let me know on the comments down below, and if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more great content, and tell me what was your favorite part of this episode, because hey, to me, if you had a pet that passed away, would you want your pet to come back like a ghost and drag you to their heaven? And they, you don't want to go? You know what's going to happen. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below on what else you want me to view for October. Because hey, I'm also still working on the documentary. Because with Fiona, well, it's going to take a little longer. Let's see if I can make it to the deadline. But yeah, until then, see you next time. Peace.